here's how to completely eliminate graphite shine from your pencil drawings. So anyone that's ever done any type of reasonably detailed drawing will know all about graphite shine. This is where the softer pencils, certainly anything over a 4 or a 5B, used with any kind of pressure, creates marks that are very shiny, reflects a lot of the light back off the surface. And what happens is the graphite starts to burnish and become polished. And the result of that is that the darkest areas of your drawing can actually look quite light instead of dark. So let me show you what I mean. So this is a 6B and you can see just how much light is reflected off that surface. And this characteristic of graphite can really interfere with the entire look of your drawing. It compromises the strongest arcs, the strongest values, which are what give a drawing depth and punch. Now the typical recommendation to avoid this graphite shine is to use a carbon or a charcoal pencil for those darkest values. So this is a carbon pencil by Conte, and you can see I can use lots of pressure and it stays jet black whatever angle that we look at it. So just look at how that compares to the graphite. And then here's the charcoal pencil, this one's by Derwent. Really nice, dark, strong value, even under these bright studio lights. But now we've got a new problem. If I lay down some lighter graphite, so without using too much pressure, and this would represent some of the lighter values in your drawing, and then I try to increase the value with either a charcoal or a carbon pencil on the top, you can see that nothing happens. So the carbon or the charcoal here isn't adhering to the graphite surface. Now what that means is that shading becomes that much more complicated and quite frankly a little bit laborious because what you've got to do now is plot out where all of your strongest darkest values are going to be and avoid those areas with your graphite. So you're constantly going backwards and forwards between graphite and carbon pencils and it can become quite tedious let me tell you. It's also very difficult to get a nice smooth blend. So if I start this strip here with say a HB pencil and then I gradually increase the pressure and then I go to a 2B pencil, and then let's try a 4B, and now I'm gonna to go to the carbon pencil. And look how there's this very obvious type mark between where the graphite ends and the carbon starts, and there's not really much that I can do about that. So now let's bring in this pencil by Staedtler. So this is from their Mars Lumograph Black Range, which is relatively new on the market. It's been around about a year. So Staedtler have figured out how to combine the matte effect of your carbon or charcoal pencil in a way that still adheres to graphite. And without sounding too dramatic, as a pencil artist, particularly if you do some realism, it's a game changer. Now in practical terms, let's take a look at what that looks like. So if I do another strip, and I'll use the same pencils as previously, so starting with the HB, and then to the 2B, and then the 4B, but this time, let's take the 4B all the way to the end of the strip. Now let's go back over with the 4B black pencil from Staedtler. And then I can go over at the very end with the 6B black pencil. And just look how much softer that transition is, so much smoother. What this means is that I can now cover the bulk of my drawing with those lighter graphite values without using too much pressure. And then I can add the darker values later on as I need to, as I can see the balance of a contrast between all those values as a whole. I don't have to worry about whether I'm gonna get a smooth blend or not. It's so much easier to shade this way. Now these Staedtler black pencils are really inexpensive, no more expensive than any other pencils. They come in a set of six. You'll find them on Amazon, maybe even your local art store and they will work with other brands of pencils, so they'll layer on top of other brands in my experimentation, but they do seem to layer better on top of Staedtler's own Mars Lumograph range. What I really love about these pencils is that they are all great for looser sketches too. So these sketches that you see on screen were produced as part of a drawing course for Art Tutor, and they were all done with a single pencil, a 7B or an 8B from that black range. They're brilliant for shading in larger areas really quickly. So I think you're gonna love these pencils. They will completely eliminate the issue of graphite shine. And by the way, I have no affiliation whatsoever with Staedtler. This is just a genuine recommendation from one artist to another. These are really highly recommended. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did and you'd like some extra inspiration for what to draw or paint next, then why not download a copy of our free guide, 101 Drawing and Painting Ideas. The reason that we created this guide is because as artists, we often get stuck creating the same limited range of subject matter over and over. Maybe it's portraits, maybe it's landscapes, still life, 
whatever that might be for you. Stretching out of your comfort zone and then drawing or painting things that you'd never normally think of is not only fun, it's a great way to improve. The more that you can broaden your horizons as an artist, the more creative you become because you've got this wider range of experience and techniques that you can then combine in completely unique ways. Now, if you do a Google search for sketching ideas or painting ideas, the list that you come across, in my opinion, are all very samey and not particularly inspiring. The list that we've created is divided into different categories and each idea or theme comes with at least one or two copyright free reference photos. Now these photos that we've selected have been chosen with artists in mind. For example, lots of nice strong form and cast shadows that are gonna make for really interesting pieces of art. You can use the ideas and copy the photos exactly as they appear in the guide and that's a great way to practice new subjects or you can use them for inspiration to then go and find your own version of that idea. So you can get a free copy of 101 drawing and painting ideas by clicking the image that you see on your screen right now. And of course, if you'd like more video tips like in this particular one, be sure to hit the subscribe button that you see on your screen now.